Hey everyone, I was looking on YouTube to try to find a video about how to connect a power inverter to your car battery to use it as a, an emergency power source for AC appliances. It converts the 12 volt into 110. And I just wanted to, I figured I'd do a quick video and show you how it is. It's pretty easy to do. You just take your power inverter. This is an 800 watt power inverter. Not going to handle a whole lot of electricity. But you just take the two sides, the positive and negative, plug those in there then take the cables the positive and negative cables and go ahead and plug those into you onto your car battery and you can go ahead and turn this on and probably hear it it's working if we take a little drill right here I was gonna get a light but you're probably not gonna be able to see it so I figured I'd get this drill or this saw and you can see that it powers up and that's basically all you have to do to to get turn the DC current to AC current. And I just put this, I put a couple screws in here and put this on this piece of wood just to give it a stable spot. Uh, depending on your car, you're you're gonna want to. I mean, you can get a long two by four or whatever you need to do, depending on the inverter and everything. Uh, one thing also with this is make sure you know you can do this with your car not running, but you're gonna juice your battery if you do that. So. Uh, make sure you have fuel for your car. This is also loud, so in an SHTF situation, not sure if you really want your car running unless you're, you're watching it. Uh, but it is an alternative if you, if you need uh, just a couple lights, anything like that. Uh, temporary, you know, short-term stuff. If you need a couple of power tools to work, stuff like that. Turn your car on, let the battery juice up, and, and use this. But that's an, a, an alternative. I just wanted to show everybody that. Appreciate it. If you, if you want, subscribe to the channel below and get our, our latest videos.